everyone, I'm here with another layout. And I am going to use my background memories called just for it from Michaels. I did a lot of my purchasing of these papers from Michaels. So and so I have KI memories. Um I got two KI memories, two um, that cuts with a view, and one recollections with which is Michael's. So those fine paper pads, I I pretty much those I got from Michael's. Alright, so I use that brown layer. And then I'm going to also use this pink layer. And then this floral layer is the last one I use. But my photo mat is, however, from the Die Cuts with a View Floral Fair. And then I was trying to figure out if I could use this because I have this scrap. <laughs> I'm going to cut using one of my decorative scallop scissors scarecrows scissors you know remember those <laughs> something we don't use much anymore remember cutting my frames out of those and all kinds of stuff So it doesn't go all the way across, so I'm going to put them together, but then later I realize that the patterns really don't match, but you know what? You're not going to know. You don't know unless you know to look <laughs> for that, so you're not even going to notice because most of it's going to be hidden anyway, so it's okay. Okay. 
this is where I realized, oh, man, the patterns are different. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. You're not going to notice. It's okay. So this is my niece, Natalie, and her brother, Emma. Or, sorry, <laughs> my niece, Natalie, and her brother, Dylan. It's always Natalie, Emma, Natalie, Emma, or Jada, so... Uh, so now I'm going to go into the embellishments. So I'm going to pull out a lot of stuff, but most of it I, however, am not going to use. These are from the most current kits, leftovers from the most current kits that I was going to try to use. And these I've had forever. And so that's my um, baby powder and a eye brush, eyeshadow brush um, to take off the sticky. And that powder lasts forever. And smells really good too. I've had those bows, paper clip bows forever. Those gold ones I've had forever. Those, whatever those ones are, it's like a watercolor ones though I've had those forever so this one is called all together and I do use those gold I'm going to use that gold flower and then the words all together which is my title and those are from pink fresh studio simple and sweet I am going to use those puppy stickers that you see there and those are Pink Fresh Studios Everyday Musings. And here are some other bits and pieces from Leftover Hip Kit Clubs that I'm going to attempt to use. So trying to get them used up. I'm trying to do more embellishment heavy if I can. I try to use as much embellishments as I can on a page. So it's just a matter of just going through and figuring out what's appealing to the eye, what seems to fit, what don't, what can I use, what can't I. I'm having to, because I have so much, I am having to basically not care. Um, Usually, if it's florals, it goes with flowers. If it's summer, it goes with summer. So, I'm having to kind of look past that. And if it will work for this layout, if it matches the colors, doggone it, I'm using it. <laughs> if it can go on, the, if it fits on the page, works the right shape, right colors, it's going on. I'm using it, honey. 
So. So with that, <laughs> my desk is also getting really messy. Because I have that with the visions in it, um, with die cuts, and then I have the glass container with more die cuts. So today I went through and all the smaller bits and pieces I pulled out and put in the wooden container and then all of the bigger pieces like which are basically like cards if they're like journaling cards or bigger pieces I kept them in the glass container so hopefully I can use those up in the glass container so then those in the wooden container can go into the glass container the smaller bits and pieces but right now I have the smaller bits in the wooden container which is a division and I went from semi full to super full yeah it's like super full yeah it's like overwhelmingly full because what I did is I don't tend to put everything in one what I did is I tended I tend to put um, a little bit I pulled out what I thought would work for summer type themed layouts because then it gets to, because then I get a bit anxious. I get, I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack because there's just so much and I don't know where to start. So it's been going okay like this. Um, that's why I decided to go ahead and put my smaller bits and pieces because I've been doing okay as far as pulling from that. And so I added more to it, so hopefully it still goes okay. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. So anyway, I add the circle sticker is going to be Heidi Swap. I have some chipboard stickers, which are the Cardabella Flower Market, which says Bloom and Grow is one of those. But then all the other embellishments that are on here, like the, the glasses, um, the bee, and a few of the others are all from past hip kit clubs that I don't have the manufacturers anymore. So anyway, so here's where you see me with the Cardabella's flower market, some more. Alright everyone, so pretty much this is going to complete my layout. I'm just doing a little odds and ends. Um, the camera, I'm going to put um, a chipboard phrase on there from the Cardabella Flower Market. And then that's pretty much going to complete my layout. I just feel like some areas need a little bit of a finishing touch. And phrase stickers is usually the way I go about completing it. So that completes my layout. When I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Bye.